Good morning, everybody. It is May the 19th. Uh, it's been a little while since I posted a video, a couple weeks. We've had a lot going on. Honestly, we've had some pretty terrible weather the last few weeks down in Mississippi, but uh, I'm going to get out and do a little piddling around today. Uh, turkey season's over. We're a couple months from deer season, so I'm going to do the one thing, well, one of a few things that you can do during this little off season period here so uh, I'm gonna get out and do a little bit of fishing I'm actually down in South Mississippi uh, my fiance is doing a uh, rotation with her school so uh, I'm down here just to be with her so she doesn't have to be down here by herself and I'm gonna get out and do a little running around today and I'm gonna do some fishing so I'm actually headed out to the reservoir right now and I'm gonna try to ease up in some of the backwater areas of the reservoir down here make some casts and see what happens see if i can't get some fish on the line should be good uh we've had a little bit of warmer weather and uh should be fish should be kind of up in the shallow water I'm, I'm hoping to catch a little bit of spawn action and uh maybe we can make something happen i'm just going to give it a full send i have no idea what's going to happen i really don't it's not a place that i've ever been to before so we'll just have to kind of try it out and see and i'll let you guys know when i get there y'all hang with me came down this little back road trying to get into the backwaters a little bit the wind is terrible there's not a whole lot of area that I'm gonna have an opportunity to fish today um, but I was coming down this road and I got right here to this little inlet and was just kind of sitting here checking out the scenery because it's really pretty out here and uh, there was about a five foot alligator laying up on one of these grass patches and I filmed him for just a few minutes out the truck window and then I kind of decided I was going to get out of the truck, kind of ease a little bit closer, see if I could get a different angle shot on him. And uh, about five more come flying out of all this tall grass right here and hit the water. And, of course, they just pop back up, they're no just their noses and kind of looking around. But then two of them swam right up to each other face to face. Pretty neat to get to see them. It's not something that being around North Mississippi that you just see, you know, kind of out in the water all the time. It's not something that I'm used to seeing so pretty cool experience uh, I'm gonna try to fish some of these little inlets on my way out there's a uh, big bend in the road here and it's kind of blocking the wind just a little bit so I'm hoping that maybe there's some calm enough water around this corner that I'm gonna be able to fish a couple of small spots probably not gonna get to do a lot of fishing today so uh, I may have to catch back up with you guys tomorrow we'll just have to see Guys, look how aggressive this wind is. what's going on guys i know it's been a little while since i posted a video so i'm excited to get back out and do a little bit of filming for you guys uh had a lot going on so far summer's been nice and nasty down here in the south uh we've had a lot of rainy nasty weather here in mississippi so hadn't had a whole lot going on been spending time with family and just kind of just kind of taking it easy for the last couple weeks so I'm going to get back after it today and start trying to get into some new content. I think we're going to do a summer scouting series. Uh, this is going to be a fishing video. So I'm on my way right now to Academy and I'm just going to go buy a kayak and get where I can get out on the water. So uh, 
I'm headed out. I'm going to go pick up this kayak and head it out to a local lake here that is notorious for having some monsters in it. So we'll see how it goes and hopefully we'll get some good content for you guys. So y'all hang with me. We have made it to Academy Sports, one of my favorite stores in the world, but they do not let you film in here. So I'm going to run in here, grab all the things that I need for the lake today to get me out on the water, and we'll see when we get to the lake. Alright guys, I am on the lake. It's been, I guess, a little over a year since I've been in the kayak. Just got to the uh, boat ramp, launched off. Feel pretty good, feel real comfortable. Still, waves are really minimal out here. It's a no wake lake except on ski days, and that's not today, obviously. So uh, I'm gonna paddle around the edges, get up in some of these coves, and just uh, see what I can come up with. I'll check back in with you guys when I get to where I'm gonna start fishing. All right, this water is really murky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie on this black with blue flake lunker log. It's kinda hot. A little later in the day than I really meant to get started so uh, I'm gonna start out kind of with a slow approach just kind of see see if I can figure out what these fish are doing I may even switch over and go weightless on the lunker log if this doesn't work out back here so it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to paddle paddle around in here So, uh, last time I was out on this lake, I was uh, with a friend of mine who has since passed away. And he always swore that these little H&H &H spinner baits were the best thing in the world. It's his favorite bait. So, uh, I tied one of them on, and I'm going to see if that might maybe change my look just a little bit. Give it a try. Just kind of see what happens.
we hooked him. And he threw the hook right here at the boat. <laughs> when I reached for him, he uh, jumped and the hook just about got me. That is the first fish of the year for me. On the little Agent H spinner bait. Ooh, guys, it is hot. Uh, got myself backed into this little spot right here. I got a stick keeping me from blowing any further down this uh, this bank right here. I'm just gonna stop and have me a little snack, and I'll get back to fishing. I've been out here about an hour and a half. I've caught one fish. I only had two bites. And one of them so uh spirits aren't that great but it's not really the best time of the day to be fishing it's right in the middle of the day and hot and nasty mississippi weather is just pretty miserable i'm gonna say the humidity is easily 90 90 to 100 percent so uh yeah i'm pretty much soaking wet this is definitely not water this is 100 percent from that darn life jacket and i took it off i mean this water is six inches deep so I'm not too concerned with turning over right now. When I get back out on the lake, I'll put my life jacket back on. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how this is going. It sure is beautiful out here. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. That was a real good one. It's a darn catfish. Well, on a spinnerbait. What the heck? I thought I must have... I would, I would have thought I snagged it, but... Need my dang pliers. Can't get, can't get his dang, can't get the hook out of him. I don't want to pull him up here in the boat with me. Got him loose. <laughs> of all darn things, a freaking big old catfish. Well, that'd be perfect if I was planning on eating. If I was planning on eating me a catfish, but uh, that's not what we're after. So we're going to let him loose. Oh, slimy, nasty jokers, too. I hate, hate having to touch one because you get that slime on your hand. You can't hardly get the crap off. But, I guess it's better than not catching anything. <sighs> another day, another new experience. It's definitely the first catfish I ever hooked on a spinnerbait. I, I don't know why. He wanted that darn spinnerbait so bad, but he did. Uh, barely, barely even fit in his darn mouth. It definitely was not a snag, cause, I mean, it was perfectly hooked in the top of his mouth. He, he, I feel pretty confident he tried to eat this spinnerbait. Crazy. I guess it could have been a coincidence and I just snagged him across the mouth like that, but considering the hooks are turned upwards on this thing I just don't see that being very realistic
all right guys that is going to wrap it up for this one i uh, had a really good time it was kind of hot and nasty and i didn't catch just a ton of fish but i had a lot of fun got to get out in the kayak got to get out on the water uh it's really pretty out here just kind of gave me some chance gave me a chance to uh relax a little bit and just not have to worry about anything else in the world going on so it was just nice to get out for a minute uh i'll probably be back out probably fairly soon i'm gonna try to get as much use out of this uh kayak as i can this summer and hopefully that'll bring some cool content for you guys and i'm looking forward to using it during hunting season hunting season's just a few months away and i've really got that on my brain right now uh and like I said earlier, probably going to be starting the summer scouting series next. And that's really, I'm really looking forward to that. So, uh, yeah, should be pretty fun. And I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking this one out. Also, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. It just helps this channel grow. It helps us reach more people. We really appreciate you guys tuning into these videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one.